Alrighty, hello students. This is a tutorial to make a cookie cutter very similar to this kind of design. The design has two elements. It has a cookie cutter cutter, which you use to cut the shape out of the dough. And then it's got a stamp, which you use to add details to the cookie. So that's the basic idea of what we're going to make. It should look like this. Ready? We're going to use a Christmas theme for our designs. We will need three things to do this tutorial. The first thing you'll need is Fusion 360. You will need Adobe Illustrator and you will need a drawing. There will be instructions on the OneNote about how to install Illustrator and Fusion 360 if you don't have those anymore. Um, you should probably try to do those as quickly as possible so that you'll have time. Righto, first things first, our drawing. Your drawing does not need to be super complicated. In fact, simpler the better. The drawing needs to be done in thick black lines. So if you're drawing it on paper and scanning it, make sure you go over it with a marker or a texter, something to give it very strong dark lines. Okay, that's important. Okay, our drawing is finished. We have our little stamp details. And then around the stamp details, you have the cookie cutter shape. Okay, it's important to add that at the end. Alrighty, now first, first things first, to create a DXF file out of our drawing. In Illustrator, in Illustrator click New File. Make sure our unit of measurement is set to millimeters and then make sure we set it to 100 by 100. All right? Very important we change it to millimeters. If it's set to pixels, it will be tiny. If it's set to inches, it will be gigantic. If it's set to meters, it will be huge. So very important we set it to a mil millimeters. All right, click Create. We have a square that looks like this. File, Place. We're going to place our reindeer picture on there. Alrighty. Now, if it's too big, if it's too small, put the cursor in the corner. Whoops. And hold a shift to make it bigger or smaller. Okay, that's important. Make sure all the little black details fit inside the square of the file. Alrighty. Now, one step, two steps left. Step number one, convert it to outlines. Click on the picture, object, image trace, make and expand. Object, image trace, make and expand. So what's that, what that has done is converted the image from pixels into a vector or into an outline. And uh, it's kind of difficult to see, but if you, if you scroll over, you will see all your little lines now are selectable. The, and also we've got, we've got the black part and the white parts are separate things. It's very difficult to see, but here's basically what you've got to do. Find this magic wand tool. If it's not in your tools here, go to help, type magic. There's the magic wand. Click on the white part of the picture and press Command X or Delete. So what that does is gets rid of all the excess white material around the drawing. All right, there we go. There's our outlines. We know it works because we can change it from fill to outline, but that's not really important. Once that's done, all we've got to do now is go File, Export, Export As, cookie cutter, whatever you want to call it. And make sure in the drop down menu, alrighty, if it looks like this, click the arrow so you can change your format. So here's the arrow. Make sure we select DXF and export. All right. And we're done with Illustrator. Go to Fusion, create a new file. We're not going to make anything. All we're going to do is go insert DXF. 
which is the same format from before. Insert DXF, select the file, select the plane or the, the bottom of the picture. Double check if this is set to millimeters. We don't want to set to centimeters, meters, inches, whatever. Make sure it's set to millimeters, click OK. Alrighty, now just, just one, thing, one thing to know about before we do our next thing. This little area here is important. We've got to, we will turn our sketch back on, on and off a few times. So just be aware that you can click this arrow and find the sketches. Okay, now click on the little details of the stamp. You might need to zoom in. Okay, hold shift and select all the different details. Once all the details are selected, you can find this tool, extrude, or press E on your keyboard, and you're going to make it 12 high. Easy. Alrighty. We've kind of made a stamp, but the eyes, the nose, the mouth are sort of different parts. We want to connect them all up. So this is where I was talking about this part of the design. We need to find our sketch, turn it, toggle the visibility so it's back on. We're going to click the inside now and hold shift. So instead of the little details, click the inside, extrude or type E, and we're going to enter three. join. All right, there we go. We've got a three millimeter thick base on our stamp and our details. Last little thing is the cookie cutter shape around it. Be very careful and click just the out outline. Press E and type 20 this time. So it's much taller. Click OK. All right, and believe it or not, you're pretty much done. We've got our cookie cutter shape. We've got our stamp details. The one little thing I would suggest is this, okay? It's going to be very difficult to stamp the stamp in the way it is. So what I will do, instead of a handle on the back, just find an empty space on the face of your cookie cutter. Click the sketch. So click sketch, create a little circle, and you're going to kind of make a finger hole that you can use to pull the stamp on and off, and extrude that, push that through the stamp. So you've got like a little leverage to get the stamp on and off. I'll do that again in case people miss that. Alright, really quick. Here's create sketch. Create a sketch. Then you click on the face. If you need to move it, you can move it. Click the circle. Find an empty spot of the stamp face. Who knows how big you need to make it? Big enough to put a finger in. E, and then instead of pulling it forward, push it backwards. And you're, you're good. Alrighty. So we've actually got stamp and cookie cutter shape. Super easy. Okay, final thing. File, save. So save your file. File, export. And we want to export an STL of the file. STLs are what the laser cutter uses, it was what the 3D printer uses. There we go, and click export. Be aware that if you have not saved your file, you do not have the option to export it. So it has to be saved first. But anyway, there we go. We have a Christmas themed cookie cutter we can uh, make custom cookies out of. Very good.